Name the cereal from the pictures in milk. Duh. <laughs> I love trivia. It helps you get smarter and you have fun at the same time. Those are Fruit Loops. Those are Golden Grams. That's Cookie Crisp. Hi, Chet. Hi, Chet. Hi, Chet. That's Lucky Charms. Those are also Fruit Loops. I see Frosted Flakes. I see Corn Pops. Lucky Charms, yeah. I, you know what I see? Fruity Pebbles. Is it chocolate lo Lucky Charms? Which one? Ch chocolate Rocky. Bot bottom right almost? Yeah. That's Count Chocula. What? I believe I see Cap and Crunch with the Crunch Berries. I see a, a new form of Cheerios. I see Fruity Pebbles again. Circular Fruity Pebbles. That's okay. I see shredded wheat. I see Christmas Cheerios. I see Fruity Pebbles. I see tricks. Yeah, dude, my brain brought me back. Colored Spheres is tricks. Now, the other ones, I'm just going to be honest with you, I don't know. But I feel like you're Fruit Loops. Applejack! Cinnamon Toast Crunch! I was like, it's Golden Grams again. You ever realize there's only like four cereals and they're all um, the same? Reese's Puffs, I'll just admit I've never had. Carbonated beverages? Can you name the top selling carbonated beverages? Yes. I'm going to say it's Coke, Pepsi, Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. I'm going to say Mountain Dew. I'm going to say after Mountain Dew is probably Sprite. I'm going to say it's 7-Up. 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 Bro, I don't believe you. Chat, I don't believe that 7-Up is getting outsold by Sprite 5-1. to one. I don't believe it. Because that was what, that's what it would take for 7-Up to not be on the list. Sprite is the default. No one drinks 7-Up. 7-Up fell off. 7-Up is not popular. Well, does Sprite have its own NES game? I don't think so. Okay, you got Dr. Pepper, of course. You got Fanta, maybe? You've got Diet Dr. Pepper? You got Mug Root Beer? You got Barks Root Beer? You've got A&W Root Beer? You've got Diet Mountain Dew? It's that easy. All things are as difficult as they are rare. Baruch Spinoza. That's how I felt when I got 10 out of 10 on the highest selling American carbonated beverages in 2010 quiz. All things excellent are as difficult as they are rare. Largest pizza chains? Yeah, I think I, I, I'm thinking I'm back, okay? You got Pizza Hut. You got Domino's. You got Lil Caesars. You got Papa J. Takeout only. You got Sparrow. You got California Pizza Kitchen. You got Shakey's Pizza Horror Show. You Pizza Buffet. You got Sparrow. You got Via Tavere. I'm losing. You have the Olive Garden. I only know six American pizza restaurants. Wait, I know Marcos. I know Antonia Vani de Giuseppe's. You guys don't have that? You don't have Antonia Vani de Giuseppe? All right, I pass. Give up. Um, excuse me. I'm not going to lie. I've heard of some of these. But what the hell is Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza? That's the fifth largest pizza chain in America. Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza. It's good. You take it home and bake it yourself. Hungry Howie's Pizza. Pizza Ranch. Peter Piper's Pizza. I think it really drops off after number four. You're telling me Papa Murphy's Take and Bake Pizza 
has more locations than the California Pizza Kitchen. Top fast food chains A to Z. Get me out of here. Top fast food chains in America. Get me out of here. Candy bars. Can you name the candy bar in each image? No. The first one is the best one. Nope. Okay. I see a Twix. I see a Kit Kat. I see Kara Milk. Is that what? It, can I get some Canadians in the chat? What do Americans call Kara Milk? Because that's a Kara Milk right there. We, we call it Carmelo. Car, Carmelo? Caramelo? Thank you. I appreciate that. I needed a little translation. I see a score. I see a bounty. Also known as mounds, apparently. I see a Reese's peanut butter cup. I see a Hershey bar. I see a Hershey bar with nuts. What is this? This is a chocolate covered sweet potato. Is that a, are you a, a butter finger, but with a horrible like exposure on it? I like a butter finger. I didn't, it's been a long time. Don't get me wrong. I think the next is an O. Henry. Never mind. You could see how I would be confused between this and this. They're pretty similar. What on earth is this? This is a icing Reese's. <laughs> um, uh, what, I think you're like a baby Ruth. No, never mind. Okay. Are you a three musketeers? No, oh, okay. Um, what the hell is it, dude? They're putting styrofoam inside of the three musketeers? This is literally just a pillow. That's nougat? That is not nougat. That's plaster. Um, there's not that many candy bars with rice in them. Is there like a... Which one of you is the 100 grand bar? Okay, that's what I thought. I'll admit, I don't really know you. Do you guys have Wonder Bar in America? You know what this, miss, uh, this list is missing, Chad? Where's my coffee crisp? Where's the coffee crisp? Now, can I tell you, I do believe I see a fruit and nut bar, also known as dairy milk. Never mind. I don't know any of these other chocolate bars. I feel like I should know you. Are you Crispy Crunch? I, I love this. Like people are, are asking like, what are the hell are these chocolate bars? We call them weird names over here, man. I guess we, I didn't realize we had different names. We have like the British names for all the chocolate. You guys don't have Crispy Crunch? The one to the left of the Hershey's bar is sold in tractor supply stores. What the hell? This, this is a builder's bar. This is actually like a, a mint chocolate builder's bar. I don't even know what the hell this is. This is just like fudge. And I think this is a Nutrigrain bar. I give up, man. It's a Milky Way. So Almond Joy? What the hell is Zagnut? What the hell is a Chunky? I've never heard of these in my life, man. What is a Clark? I've heard of a Clark bar. It, it looks like it's a uh, like an old sawdust plank that's been covered in chocolate. Pasta types. Hey, I, I can do this. I can do this. Can I tell you, I see Farfalle next to that. This shit is impossible. I see um, macaroni. I see rotini. I see um, orzo. The goat, the best to ever do it. I see penne next to that. Okay, I see a fusilli. I was joking about that. I see spaghetti. That's not where I thought it was. So I see spaghettini. 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 Uh, I meant linguini. That's the one. K 
Okay, I see lasagna. Um, you're telling me those tight spirals are not fusilli? I know the little orbs, like the top left. I just forgot what it is, okay? I see rigatoni. I see fettuccine. That's fettuccine, dude. That's tagliatelle. Okay, shells. Also known as conchigli. I see what appears to be some tortellini. Scroll me a little. I see wagon wheels, also known as rotelli, if you're fancy with it. I see some gnocchi. I see a little silhouette of a man. I, angel hair. You know it's got to be there. I didn't know so many of these you can use as like a straw. No, 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 I know cups. I know cups. That's orecchiette. It's one of my favorites. It's orecchiette. It's orecchiette. Thank you. The rest, I got to just give up on. But this one's going to haunt my dreams. Never mind. It turns out I do not know Asini di Pepe. Couscous. I forgot. I didn't even look at ravioli, just to be honest. Um, you know what? There's some of these I think I could have gotten. Couscous I always forget because I think it's a grain in my head for some reason. Excuse me. I typed Fusilli, but I spelled it wrong. I've never heard of Gimeli. I've never heard of Mafalde. Manicotti, I have heard of, but usually as the last name of like a mafia dude who gets shot 35 minutes into a Martin Scorsese movie. Ravioli, I just slipped on. Pappardelle! It's not tagliatelle, it's pappardelle. Ziti is the only pasta you bake. I'm going to be honest with you, I thought vermicelli was a Vietnamese rice noodle. And radiatore, I've never heard of. That's ramen. That's instant ramen. Cookies! Can you name the cookies from this photo? Yes. Chocolate chip. Macadamia nut. M&M. &M. Gingerbread. Black and white. Sugar. Peanut butter. Fortune. Oatmeal, raisin, Oreo. You think you can sneak that one by me? With cinnamon in 70% of American households, I see a Nanaimo bar. Excuse me, can I get a Canadian, a Canadian check? What do Americans call Nanaimo bars? It's the far right, second from the bottom here. Can I get it? We don't call them that. They're called roly polies. That's not an Nanaimo bar. That's an Nanaimo bar, man. That's a nutter butter. No, that's the peanut. I know that one. Nutter butter. I see also a molasses cookie. I love molasses cookies, man. I see some biscotto. Okay, if you're gonna make me pluralize it, I see some almond cookies. Nope. I see some shortbread. Turns out I know more cookies than I thought. This is one of the Girl Scout cookies. It's called uh, Samoa. Mm, it's the I love the Samoa. We don't get it too much. I'd love to get it Samoa, quite frankly. I think I see a thin mint on the far right. Um, Toll House. Is that a Toll House cookie? I have not. This is bringing me back, man. I have not had this in a long time. But I can taste its delicious cinnamon sugar in my head right now. These are not called Toll House cookies. I ate so many of these as a kid. I forgot they existed. I thought they were shaped like a windmill, though. Are you just... Uh, you're a Nutella cookie? I don't know. I pass. What did I miss? Burger cookie... Milano, that's a Pepperidge Farms joint. Tim Tam, I've never had. Rainbow Cookie Neapolitan, also known as a uh, Nanaimo bar if you're in Canada. Nilla Wafers, Hershey's Kiss Cookie with peanut butter. L Fudge. What the hell is Uncle Seth's Pink Cookie? It sounds like something you'd whisper in a hushed tone in like cross-examination during court proceedings. Uncle Seth's pink cookie. 
Is this one of those cookies you buy at the pharmacy and when you eat it, it, it comes in a, a plastic tub with 500 cookies in it and as soon as you bite in, it turns into drywall dust? Is this the kind of food that you can only buy at uh, a Kroger or a CVS? Yes, they suck ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Candy! I can do this. What a, what a great genre of quiz we found today. That's Mike and Ike. Those are Red Hots. Those are M&Ms and Lil Wayne's. I don't know those. Next to that is Laffy Taffy. Nope. Okay, I see Skittles. I see Gummy Bears. I see Starburst. I see Candy Hearts. Proof that... What? Love me nots, love me do's, candy valent valentines, sweethearts. Okay, conversation starters, lemon balls, lemon drops, lemon heads. Okay, is that those are those say Mike and Ike on them? Mike and Ike box. I see Smarties, also known as rockets. I see bricks. I see sweet tarts. Okay. Now, it's getting a little difficult. I have no idea what this is, to be honest with you. Are those American rockets? I have no clue what those are. Then we have Sour Patch Kids, one of the goats for sure. The next thing, I believe those are Mentos. Nerds? Those are lollipops, which I think maybe they're blow pops. I don't know what those are. Tootsie Pops? I don't know what those are. The next one is just Skittles again. The one after that is Swedish Fish. Hey, did you know what I found out recently? I love Swedish Fish. Did you know that as far as candy goes, they're like one of the least healthy candies you can eat despite tasting like a mild lingonberry. I naively assumed that Swedish fish were bad for you because they're candy, but not that bad compared to other candies. It turns out they're actually like worse than other candies. I don't know why. I have had the, the smart sweets Swedish fish. I mean, they're fine. They're just straight sugar? Yeah, but it's like, you know, I thought it was cut with like a little gelatin or something. Anyway, these are pixie sticks. These are wine gums. <laughs> these are, I've had these before. I don't know what they're called. And then there's um, licorice. <laughs> Snaps. Dots. This shit you get in a 25 cent dispenser at the grocery store and it all of them suck except the orange hits the spot sometimes and the bananas goaded the rest of them just exist to break your teeth they were put there by dentists now the last one is jelly beans i i give up good and plenty now and later that's of course that's pez dude Pez, I could have gotten. I'll be honest with you. Spree, I've never heard of. Dum Dums, I've never heard of. Juji Fruits. Gobstoppers, okay, fair enough. And Runts, I could have gotten. I used to get those at the grocery store. What the heck is... Can you pick the 30 different kinds of fruit in the fruit machine? Nope. Wait, this is a quiz that was made for me? Categorize the meal. Are we actually going to get a quiz that asks, is a hot dog a sandwich? Can you pick the food and drink that belong in each category? Bread. Hala. Ciabatta. Focaccia. Naan. We're going to pass for just a moment. Soup. You got a borscht. Take me back to bread. Lavash is a bread. Soup. We're going to pass. I want to see cheese. Salad. Coleslaw. 
I want to see soups. Do we just have soups? Yes, give me a minestrone. Main course, also buco. I mean, porchetta could be, a, a lot of these could be main courses, quite frankly. Let me get drinks, please. Cheese. Okay, we got Gouda, Havarti, Jarlsberg, Emmental, Stilton. For desserts, we got a tort, we got a trifle, we got a flan, we got a panna cotta. We're going to pass just a second. For a beverage, you got a boiler maker. I see fud now there as well. We got a sake, we got a sangria. We've got, uh, I was going to click fajita. We got Merlot, we got mimosa. Okay, for soups, you've got um, pho, salad. I'm scared. Tabula is kind of a salad. Main course is so, it, you have to use your own judgment. For dessert, you could have a macaroon. Okay, soups. Menudo is like, it could be a soup. Isn't it also like a, it's like a beef soup or something? I don't know. I'm, for, put me on main course, okay? Porchetta could be a main course. It's pork belly. Fajita could be a main course. I'm going to say that Koban Salatasi sounds like a salad to me. I'm going to say Kakaliki is a main. And Sour Braden is a main. Okay, soup, menudo. Salad, let me get Koban Salatasi. Soup, let me get Kakaliki. Salad, we just got two salads left. The gato gato salad and the babut salad. Oh, dude, I'm pretty impressed with myself, though. That, I thought that was pretty good. Kara Doc is a salad and babut is a main course. I had no idea. Now we're getting back. New foods by decade. We're actually in an episode of Good Mythical Morning. Hershey's Kisses, Animal Crackers, Royal Crown Cola, and A1 Sauce. That's the 1910s. Ocean Spray, White Cranberry Juice, Special K Vanilla Almond Cereal, Mountain Dew Code Red, G2 Sports Drink, 2000s. Jell-O, Michelob, Fig Newtons, and Pepsi Cola. Nineteen forties. Starbucks, Ben and Jerry's, Pop Rocks, Stove Top Stuffing. Nineties, eighties. Hostess Twinkies. Skippy peanut butter, Ritz crackers, Spam, 50s, Sprite, Doritos, Shake and Bake, and Pop-Tarts. That's reeks of the 70s. Milky Way, Wheaties, Wonder Bread, Kool-Aid, 50s. Philadelphia cream cheese, Coca-Cola soda, Oscar Mayer bratwurst, Aunt Jemima pancake mix, 1890s. Ego frozen waffles, Swanson TV dinners, Tropicana orange juice, and the Burger King Whopper, 70s. M&M's, Raisin Bran, Nestle's Quick, and Cheerios, 60s. Healthy Choice frozen dinners, Pop Secret, New Coke, Newman's Own salad dressing, 90s. <laughs> this shit is impossible, man. Oreos, Morden's Table Salt, Crisco Shortening, and Ronzani Pasta, that's the 20s. Snackwell cookies, DiGiorno pizza, Boca burger, veggie burgers, and Crystal Pepsi. That's the 90s. That shit is impossible. At least I got the two decades I've really lived through. I was born in 1988, but I wasn't buying too much. How about strange food, A to Z? A type of mollusk found in a large pearlescent shell. What is an abalone? A very expensive caviar harvested from a type of sturgeon. What is a beluga caviar? A dish made of seafood that is not cooked but is marinated in cit citrus. What is ceviche? A spiny Asian fruit so stinky there are laws prohibiting as a durian. French dish made of snails. What is escargot? Food made of fatty duck or goose liver. What is foie gras? Type of large saltwater clam that closely resembles male genitalia. I always forget this one. 
Despite its name, it's not a dairy product, but instead a cold cut made from pieces of an animal's cheeks, tongue, and other parts. What is head cheese? Lizard eaten as a delicacy in tacos. What is iguana? Large Asian fruit designed to taste like chestnuts. Jackfruit. Very expensive Japanese beef, Kobe. Nordic fish, also eaten in the Midwest. What is lutefisk? Latin American soup, menudo. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the assist. Japanese ingredient from cemented soybeans, miso. No, natto, sorry. Popular seafood item consumed raw, oysters. Type of wild mushroom, portobello. What? Is, it must be in the wrong answer. Wrong mushroom, portobello. Porcini? Hey! Many believe this bumpy fruit was consumed by Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Starts with a Q. Despite sounding like a seafood, okay, those are Rocky Mountain oysters. Dish made from the thymus and pancreas of a cow. Typically not a dessert. That would be the sweetbreads. Raw preparation of meat, tartar. Sea urchin is uni. Australian delicacy. She just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. Thick layer of fat surrounding a large aquatic mammal. What is whale blubber? Spicy seafood sauce. Used in Chinese cuisines. What is Lao Gan Ma? What is? I don't know. So also known as cassava. Is it a yam? Is it yu yu yuca? Yuca? Okay. Middle Eastern spice mixture. That's za'atar. We're missing three. Large saltwater clam. I always forget this one, man. Spicy seafood sauce used in Chinese cuisines. I don't know it, honestly. And then I don't think I know the Q fruit either. Geoduck. XO sauce. Oh, my God. That's so much easier than I thought it was. I don't even know what quince is, quite frankly. Fried foods. Easy, man. Easy. This is an onion ring. This is a jalapeno popper. It's not a jalapeno popper. Jalapeno popper. What are poppers? I see a fried crab. <laughs> I see a crab. Okay, we're back. Spring rolls. That's fried mac and cheese. That is fried chicken. That's funnel cake. That is a corn dog, also known as a pogo in Canada. Not a joke, by the way. Corn dog. That's coconut shrimp. Okay, that's shrimp. That's a churro. That's fried ravioli. Those are beignets. That's fried green beans. Never seen it in my life, to be honest with you. I see French fries. I have no idea what the other thing there is. It looks like a Ruffles potato chip. I see matzah sticks. Mozzarella sticks. I see donuts. I see fried Oreos. And I see a lava cake. I see a cake. I see a cake. I see a cake. I see a sundae. I see a sundae. I, I, okay, I give up. I give up. I give up. What are you? Is this like okra? Okay, I just literally looked at it. It, was like, it looks like okra. Fair enough. Fried ice cream and fried pickles. I've net, of all of these, the strangest to me is the fried green beans. They already come in a house. Like why would they don't it, I feel like they don't need it. They're super good. Now that I think about it, I have had like green bean tempura, so I guess it's not that much different. Food chains. I love the pictures, man. Forget that. Meanings of food names. Can you pick the etymological meanings of these words for food and drink? I'm not gonna do that. Fancy your names for food? 
no, we're not going to do this. How about most consumed seafood in America? I know we're really like kind of, we're punching down at the U.S. today, okay? But the S&P 500 was up like 1.6% today. They can take it, okay? America, and maybe this is true in other parts of the world. America is like one of the only, America and Canada are like the only places in the world where people will say things like, I don't eat fish because it tastes too fishy for me. I'm not like them. I'm a cool Canadian. I'll eat all the seafoods. I, I'm, I'll eat a raw oyster. I'll eat a fried oyster. I'll eat a gooey duck. I don't care. The most consumed has to be fish. Salmon. Tuna. Cod. Halibut. Come on. Haddock. Okay, sole or tilapia. Is shrimp number one? Okay, it is. Okay, now, now we start working from here. This is basically, so far, has been name a fish. Now, pounds per person per year. Keep in mind, we're basically getting down to, like, eats it once every six years, okay? Lobster. Crab. More crab than lobster, huh? They're both pricey. Oysters. Scallops. Really? Anchovies. Sardines. Clams. Clams, dude. Clam strips go pretty hard. I can't be mad at you for that one. Mussels. It's got to just be other fishes. Bass. Trout. Perch. Freaking walleye. It's not, it's not good eating, but what about a, what about a, what about a sablefish? Fish sticks. Shrimp. Prawns. <laughs> Yellowtail, Hamachi. I give up. What the hell is Pangasius? I forgot Pollock was a fish. Catfish makes sense to me. What the hell is Pangasius? Excuse me, can I get the Pangasius and chips? Is Pangasius the, the one where it tastes just like a Chilean sea bass, but it's more ethical to eat because they're farmed instead of, like, at risk? That's, that's, oh, it's Basa. It's Basa. Okay, fair enough. Shows what I know. Find that junk food. I can do that. Can you find these junk food items? Meatball sub. Pretzel. I needed a quiz like this to help my ego out a little bit. Bagel. There it is. Hot dog. Tortilla chips. Donut. This is too easy. I feel bad that I'm doing this. Like this is... It says more about me that I'm finishing this quiz than it does, like, whatever my score ends up being. Like, that's, that's a quiz for Jay. <laughs> Baby's first quiz. <laughs> Junk food sorting gallery? No, thank you. Food cliches? No. Delicious foods A to Z with pictures. Yeah, okay. You got artichokes. These are also too easy, though. You got bacon. You got coleslaw. You got donuts. You got escargot. You got falafel. Granola. Hamburger. Ice cream. Beef jerky. You got kimchi. You thought that would stump me? You think I don't have a jar of that in my fridge right now? You got lobster. You got mustard. You got nachos. You got omelette. You got a pretzel. You got a quiche. You can't stump me. That's rosemary. That's sushi. Those are tamales. Q-R-S-T-U. U. V. I see vanilla. I see walnuts. I see yogurt. I see zucchini. U. 
Uh, pasta? You. I don't know. I got his... I give up. Oh, it's just udon. Oh, my God. That is not how I traditionally see udon in my life. I see it in a, in a bowl. It was in a simmered fish broth with some udon as a noodle soup. I, dude, I mean, I, I'm not saying that's not udon. I'm just saying they could have picked a more representative photo, okay? Udon, is, to me, is like, it's thicker than that. I guess that maybe this is uncooked. They haven't put it into the noodle soup yet. I don't know. They got It, it doesn't look like kombu to me. That looks like freaking uh, like basil or something. I don't know what happened to X, by the way. I guess there's no cool foods with X. I'm not going to do this. Have we, have we come all the way around? We've come all the way around. I can't believe it. We did every quiz related to food. We know everything there is to know about food. Today's top quizzes in miscellaneous. Can you name the historical people, movies, musicians, TV shows... Athletes, video games, and toys from the 1990s? I'm going to say yes. You said no pop culture? Oh, there, you're right. This is pop culture. Sorry, sorry. Someone said, can you do complete the British slang? You know what? That sounds like it could be a good time. Let me see if I can find it here. Complete British slang. That's pop culture? Yeah, but it could be funny. Let me just make sure it's not um, Munka S because it only has 120 plays. I can do this. Should we go out for dinner? I'm thinking of a cheeky Nando's. When the significant other is not in is in a mood, they're not coming to the pub. They're being dodgy. I'm not wanting to cut the grass. I can't be. Bothered. Someone reminiscing about when a goal is scored and the fans go crazy. Lad, there was absolute. Mahdi. <laughs> After winning the raffle, I was chuffed to bits. Player misses an open goal. Commentator says, oh no, he's had a complete nightmare. I was completely knackered. What? I thought that was when you got too drunk. Or is that just tired? After a long day of work. Okay. When you realize you've been lucky. That was dead blank, wasn't it? At the pub, someone would say, my round, what do you what? What do you fancy? Okay, I couldn't even understand the sentence to begin with. When referring to a member of your family, I was talking to our kid. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm not watching any more goggle box. It's rubbish now. He completely lost the plot. Seems a bit dodgy to me. I'll meet you early. Doors? They're not coming to the pub. They're being... Marty. He's had a complete nightmare. That was... Jammy, wasn't it? Apparently I know... British more than I thought. Top 10 of the greatest Britons. Can you name 10 of the top 100 greatest Britons? First Lord Protector of the Commonwealth of England from 1653 to 1658. Nope. Prime Minister, that would be Winston Churchill. Biologist, I'm going to go Charles Darwin. Naval Commander, how about Vice Admiral Horatio Nelson? Physicist, Isaac Newton. Queen of England, okay, this is, I thought they were going to have me name them. It's John Lennon. 
John Lennon. I believe this is John Lennon. Hold on. Just, I mean, we might as well. Average score, 93. Genius level, Einstein. British slang, please. I can't. I, I don't even know what these quizzes are about. Capital of England. I, I feel like I could probably do that one. 20 reasons Rick Astley should be PM. I think we got to go back. That was a good one, though. UK citizenship test. Okay, I can do this. Would you task, Would you pass the British citizenship test? Let's do it, man. YouTube title? I blanked the UK citizenship test? No shot? I can do No shot. I can do this, man. I love England. I just wish it was real. What is the title of the stories by Geoffrey Chaucer? By the way, do they only give you five minutes, too? That's the Canterbury... Tales. 1066 is the Battle of Hastings. Battle of Hastings. Following the election of 2010, what type of cooperative party system was instituted? Um, democratic monarchical parliamentary fiefdom. What is the common name for the flag? The Union Jack? Who was the prime minister in World War II? Um... Winston Churchill or Neville Chamberlain. <laughs> oh, man. Colloquial term applied to trends, arts, and political movements of the 1960s. British invasion. Madchester. What is the name of charter signed in 1215 by King John? That's the Magna Carta. Official currency is the British pound sterling. Pound sterling. How many jurors are selected for a criminal trial in the Crown Court? Nine. Eleven. Twelve? Twelve. I knew that. Uh, we have Alan Turing. Excuse me? Is it British computer scientist responsible for inventing the World Wide Web? Okay, that's not Alan Turing now that I think about it. That's Linus Pauling. That's um, James something. I know him as James something. The duo who wrote HMS Pinafore. That's Rogers and Hammerstein. Is Mitchell and Webb? Top tier football league is called the Premier League. Who wrote Emma and Sense and Sensibility? Jane Austen. Which modern festival involves children dressing in costumes? Halloween. What's the national flower of Wales? Lily, capital city, London. Lobbying groups in the UK are called Badger Wranglers. Recent piece of legislation created a new executive position within the Scottish Parliament. I would say that that is the Scottish Parliament executive position establishment act minimum age to drive 16 15 14 13 17 oh thank god you got the house of commons and the house of lords you got the house that reminds us of the good times you got the house that reminds us of the best times which suffragette is credited with leading the passage of the representation of people act in 1918 which granted women over the age of 30 the right to vote taylor swift which system in which the candidate with the most votes, with the plurality of candidates, is used to elect MPs? First past the post. Which disputed territory? The Falklands. Excuse me, 15 out of 24 is a pass. I don't think I'm getting any more of these. All I can think of is, the, is, the, is it the Soho movement of the 1960s? Is it the Bohemian movement? Is it the Sohemian movement? Is it the Mad Lads movement of the 1960s? I give up. 
Okay, coalition. Tizzer Tim Berners Lee! I should have known. This is a pass, right? I look that yes, that's acceptable. It's adequately satisfactory. You need a hundred percent? No, come on. Canadian citizenship. I mean, I Corey passed this. So if I can't pass this, like, we got problems. Now, I got to say, this only has a 3.4. Can I see reviews of this? 16 comments. Good quiz. This is word for word taken from the government website. Okay, apparently it's a little bit out of practice, uh, out of, uh, it's not contemporary anymore, but that's okay. I can still do this. I mean, things change, you know? Mm -mm -mm. Citizenship test. What year was Confederation? 1867. 1867. When is Canada Day? July 1st. Who was the first Prime Minister of Canada? Sir John A. Macdonald. Capital is Ottawa. National anthem, O Canada. Longest serving prime minister, Mackenzie King. I mean the other one, Mackenzie King. <laughs> Two official languages, English and French. Which province has the most French speakers? Quebec. Two national sports, I told you, is hockey and lacrosse. <laughs> the national animal is the beaver. Population of Canada. It's so about 35 million, 36, 37 million, 33, 34 million, 38 million. One third of Canadians live in Ontario. Smallest province in land size is PEI. Nunavut became a territory in 1999. Government of all Canada is called the federal government. There are 338 electoral districts. This is actually wrong. There's 338 electoral districts. But... They, they added some recently, so I think maybe it's 300 and 300, 301, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 308. I'm telling you, 338 is the real number. You know how I know? Because in America, the stats website where they get the prediction for the election wrong is called 538, and in Canada, the website where they get the prediction for the election wrong is called 338. Okay. Largest religion in Canada would be Christianity. Catholicism. How many Canadians served in the First World War? Population of Canada in 1916. 100 years ago, it's probably about 12 million. So let's go 6 million, and then we'll cut that by another... 80%. Now I'm getting confused. So got 1.2 million. Didn't draft them all at the same time. I'm going to say it's 600,000. It's called an estimate. Put me in the clip. What was the last province to join Canada? We, can we say Alberta because it's the first one trying to leave? Oh, it's Newfoundland in the 50s. What am I thinking? Oh, okay. 100. Easy. Easiest guess of my life, dude. The God Gamer has logged on. Sheesh. Okay, now the United States of America. USA Citizenship. USA Citizenship 2, would you pass? <laughs> oh, I don't know any of these already. <laughs> okay, you ready? What is the supreme law of the land? The U.S. Constitution. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Freedom of speech. 
Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? The Native Americans. What ocean is on the... This is on the test. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? If you there's there's some questions where if you get them wrong, you should be able to proceed. This is one where it should automatically disqualify you. How many US senators are there? It's fucking like two per state, 100. Name one branch of the government, executive. No, legislative. I want to represent. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Freedom, happiness and Pursuit of happiness and life. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. We elect the president for four years. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights movement. One state that borders Canada, represent Washington, the best state. Two major political parties, Republican and Democrat. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Four? I mean two? Name one war fought by the U.S. in the 1800s. The Civil War. Name one war fought by the U.S. in the 1900s. The Vietnam War. During the Cold War, what ideology was the main concern? Communism. We celebrate Independence Day, July 4th. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. That's too easy. It's actually too easy. Welcome in. You got to crank up the difficulty on that. If I can pass. Okay, we got, an, we got another one. It's the same idea. This is just the first iteration. Maybe they had to make the second one easier. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. The anthem is the star-spangled banner. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 23, 24, 22, 20, 21, 19, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 amendments. No, uh, 19 amendments, 20. <laughs> this is 20. I, I gotta just accept I don't know that. Who is in charge of the executive branch? Vice president. Trick question. It's the president? Trick, yeah, 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 yeah. House of Representatives has how many voting members? 100. Fucking, I don't know, like a lot? Like 500? Like 538 of them? I don't know. In which month do we vote for the president? November. If the president and vice president die, who becomes next in line? The secretary of state. The majority leader. The senatorial whip. Jen Psaki. What is the highest court in the United States? Supreme Court. Who was the chief justice in 2014? Thompson, Myers, Ginsburg. Merrick Garland, Myers, Myers, Scalia. Who the hell was it, man? Constitution was written in 1776. Uh, 1776? 1777, 1767, what territory did you buy from France? Louisiana. You guys want it back? <laughs> I'm just joking. They're good people, man. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. That would be the Civil War. Who was president in World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Who was president in the Great Depression? FDR. That dude was president for the Great Depression and World War II? You should have voted his ass out. Not only did he start the Great Depression, he started the Second World War? This guy stinks, man. Okay, in what war did Eisenhower serve as a general? That would be World War II. Two name one of the two longest rivers. I'll take the Mississippi in this one. 
What ocean is on the East Coast? The Atlantic, a state that borders Mexico, Texas. What is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. Capital is Washington, D.C. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? That would be T. Joe. I literally just wrote T and they gave me Thomas Jefferson. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Okay, so it's Alexander Hamilton. And then it's like, like, and Alexander Hamilton wrote 51. There was also John Jay. (laughs) There's more? Oh, because I I got some wrong. Whatever. I told you they had to make the next one less hard. This one was too difficult. I'm not going to do the one that says Confederate State Conundrum. Old professions by description. World history A to Z. Modern world leaders. Not American history. Dude, how about this one? What happened first? Can you name what happened first? This should be easy. It's It's just left or right, man. What happened first? Neil Armstrong walks on the moon or England wins the football cup? That was England. The UN is formed or NATO is formed? The UN is first. King John signs the Magna Carta. The first crusade begins. I think it's the Magna Carta. Julius Caesar invades Britain. Claudius invades Britain. Claudius is an emperor that comes after Caesar. Caesar's first. Russian Revolution begins. This is like not even close. The French Revolution is like 200 years earlier. Television or radio? Radio is invented. Rome hosts the Olympic Games. Tokyo, okay, it's Rome. World War I begins or the Titanic sinks? World War I. Rain Man wins Best Picture or Chariots of Fire wins Best Picture? Chariots of Fire. U.S. Independence or Ireland Independence? U.S. Independence. Coronation of Elizabeth II or Hillary and Norgay Summit Mount Everest? Elizabeth II? The Battle of Trafalgar or the Battle of Waterloo? Give me Trafalgar because Waterloo ended the war. Uranus is discovered or Neptune is discovered? Come on, man. It's got to be Neptune because it's bigger. What? The first Doctor Who episode airs or Matt Smith is born. It's got to be first Doctor Who. That shit was in like the 1905s. Xbox 360 is launched or PlayStation 3. Xbox 360 is first by like a year. Theodore Roosevelt becomes the president before FDR. John Lennon was assassinated before Gandhi. Because if John Lennon was still alive, there's no way they're getting to Gandhi. The American Civil War begins, that's 1867, or the Potato Famine. I'm going to say that it's the Potato Famine. The first Rolling Stone magazine is published, or Brian Jones, founding member of the Rolling Stone, dies. It's got to be the first magazine. Sleeping Beauty is shown, or Beauty and the Beast. Sleeping Beauty, come on. 16 out of 20, that's pretty good. Which comes first? The PS3 is released or a PS3 game is released? Trick question. The PS3 has no games. Hi-o. Well, hey, what about Little Big Planet? And Little Big Planet 2. How about true or false history? True or false history? Mexico achieved dependence before the U.S. That's true. That's false. Um... Henry VIII's wife, Anne Boleyn, was executed. That's pretty true. Alexander the Great became Pharaoh of Egypt. That's pretty true. The Parthenon was built before the Colossus of Rhodes. That's pretty true. The Magna Carta was signed in Rome. That's pretty false. Nero was the first Roman emperor. Excuse me, it was Augustus. Marie Antoinette was married to Louis the the, the Sixteenth. That's false. It's true. (laughs) No, we made this one up. Cleopatra had a child with Julius Caesar. That's false. And that's obviously true. No U.S. presidents have been born in Missouri. That's false. Sir Winston Churchill was a labor prime minister. That's false. Custer was defeated at Bighorn. That's true. The Iron Age comes after the Bronze Age. That's false. 
It's true, actually. Joan of Arc fought at the Battle of Agincourt. Excuse me. The Battle of Agincourt was in the Hundred Years' War. This is false. Schuyler Colfax was Abraham Lincoln's vice president. That's pretty true. That's pretty false. The Ming Dynasty was the final Chinese dynasty. That's pretty false. Stevenson's rocket was the first steam locomotive. That's pretty false. Blackbeard had a wooden leg. That's pretty true. Socrates was sentenced to death. That is true. VJ Day occurred prior to VE Day. Schuyler gave the money to Beneke. That's pretty true. That's true. Norway separated from Sweden in the 20th century. That's pretty false. That's pretty true. The White House was built before Big Ben. That's true. I'm, I give up. You got me. How about countries by historical travel posters? This is Spain. This is Egypt. This is Ireland. This is Morocco. This is Russia. It's Mexico. I don't know this one. How? It's context clues. This is Brazil, Australia, Canada, Japan. Not Japan? That's in San Francisco. America? <laughs> okay, hold on. That's France. That's Germany. That's Italy. Oh, and, I mean, Greece. That's India. I meant Greece. This is Japan. That's Thailand. There's um, France, <laughs> there's Cambodia, there's Italy, that's what I meant. That's Kenya, that's South Africa, that's the Netherlands. Okay, I don't, re I, I'm finding it hard to get any information off of this. It's tropical and it's a country. Name a tropical country. I can't. I can only think of Hawaii. My brain is just going, Hawaii? 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 Is it Hawaii? Name a tropical country. I'm stupid. Name a tropical country. Jamaica. Barbados. Cuba. The Bahamas. We're missing three. Israel. What's the... Oh, we're missing this one? This is like an ad for a plane. Maybe you're in Korea? I'm trying to see where it goes. It looks like it goes to India, but maybe... It, it goes from the Western U.S. to what appears to be India. <laughs> Bangladesh? Sri Lanka? This doesn't make sense. Could it be Malaysia? Could it be Singapore? Could it be Hong Kong? Could it be China? Okay, all right, that makes more sense. I give up on this one. It's got to be an island country. It's got to be like Tahiti, Bahamas, come to Aruba, Montego, baby, why don't we go to Papua New Guinea? Most deceiving uh, tourism ad of all time. That's a fjord. Why does it have tropical design? It was so free. That's a Viking longship. What are you? That's not a Viking longship. I don't. There's not a single red house to see. Top 10 U.S. cities of all time. Okay. From 1790 to 2020, 
The undefeated New York City. Okay. 1790 to 1820. Give me Chicago. Give me Philadelphia. Give me fucking Phil. Give me fucking Boston. Give me Albany. Dude, Albany was the biggest uh, city in America for a time. Lol. Wait, no, I'm doing this wrong anyway. You know LA's in there. 1990 to 2020. That's Los Angeles. San Francisco. I, I'm going to stop this quiz. It's honestly just because it has now become literally just name an American city. So we're moving on, okay? How about the 100 most populous world cities of 1950? <laughs> How about battles of the world? Can you name the present day countries in which these famous battles were thought were fought? Body yaddy. The Battle of Thermopylae was fought in Greece. The Siege of Tyre. I can't do any of these. England. Guagamela? Battle of Fei. That was in Beijing. The Battle of Canae. That was in Italy. The Battle of Zama. That was in Egypt. Syria? I know this one. This is in Switzerland? This is in Lebanon? It's somewhere in there, man. The Battle of Hastings? I got this one. This is England. The UK. France. Turkey. Mexico. Siege of Vienna. I'm going to say that's probably in Austria. Battle of Quebec. I'm going to say that's Canada. I think we got some Poland here. Maybe spell it right. Austerlitz. That's Germany. That's Lithuania. That's Poland. That's Switzerland. That's Czechia. Battle of Leipzig. That's Germany. Battle of Waterloo. That's England. That's France. That's Russia. That's Belgium. I got to listen to more ABBA. Battle of Balaclava. I have no clue. Gettysburg, USA. El Alamein. That's probably Libya. It's probably Tunisia. That's probably Egypt. Guadalcanal. Japan. USA. I thought it was one of those islands. It's in the Pacific Theater. I don't know. Indonesia. The Philippines. Spelled correctly. I honestly don't know. It's in the South Pacific. Is it not? It's Panama? It's in the Solomon Islands. That's impossible. Stalingrad, Russia. Okinawa, Japan. Incheon, Korea. Bay of Pigs, South Korea. Bay of Pigs, Cuba, Tet Offensive, Vietnam, Siege of Sarajevo, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, Mogadishu, Somalia, Tora Bora, is Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, I give up, I know a lot about like the ones that I lived through, dude, this was 56%, people were not good at this one. Please do some WWE quizzes. I just typed wee into the search bar by accident. <clears throat> Can you name the participants in each WWE main event? If I get, if I get one with photos, absolutely. I, I could try. I don't know very much about the WWE, just for the record. Is there a way for me to, to search only by ones that have... Photos. Pick, I'll, I'll keep picture box and picture click. Find the WWE Hall of Fame inductees. I'm going to be honest with you. I know, I know too many of these, I think. I don't think you're going to laugh as much as you thought you would. Because these are, these are too obvious. I mean, that's Andre the Giant. He's very tall. Ric Flair. 
Roddy Piper, come on. Mick Foley, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ultimate Warrior, Lita, Randy Savage, Trish Stratus, Sting, up next with a cut from his new album, Sting. This is too easy. That's Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man. Okay, that's way too easy. That's too simple. We need harder than that. How about this? WWE's Money in the Bank winner by picture. Now we're talking. Because I don't know who the hell half of these guys are. WrestleMania 21, that's Edge. I just saw him. WrestleMania 22, that's Kurt Angle's son. WrestleMania 23 is literally David Arquette. 24 and 25 is CM Punk. WrestleMania 26 is literally... This guy is on Impractical Jokers. You can't fool me. This is one of the guys from Impractical Jokers that has to, like, fart in a store without laughing. That's Kane without his mask on. Next to that, 2010 is Macklemore. 2011, I have no idea. I know Daniel Bryan, and I know John Cena. I don't even understand what I'm looking at here. Now, this guy is Randy Orton. Next to him is Gomez Adams. As played by Jason Manzukis. I next to him is not CM Punk. It's it's Seth Rollins. And then next to him is Jackson Galaxy, the cat whisperer. He's named Seamus. I know his name, dude. His name's Seamus. That's Seamus. That's Seamus. That's Seamus, right? I'm not even messing with you. Is it? You're right and you typed it right. What the heck? Seamus? I think they spelled it wrong, dude. Okay, that's... I know this guy. Because when, when people got really into wrestling on Twitter, I was like, what the hell? This guy's the champion of the league, but he just looks like a guy? It's not Seth Rollins, but he runs with the same crew. I don't know his name. I've seen him, but I'm like, what? This guy's the champion? I don't know the person next to you. I don't know the person. I don't know anybody here, except I believe that Monster Among Us is Bran Strongman. Bran Strowman. Bran Strowman. Brow Strongman. Brow Strowman. Brow... Br <laughs> Can I get a spell check? Braun Strowman. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this is somebody you don't want to see come into your store if you're the manager because you know your day's about to get ruined. That's Brock Lesnar. Why is anybody else getting some serious Paul Dano energy from this Brock Lesnar photo? Like I wouldn't have thought that Brock Lesnar and Paul Dano looked anything alike. But I'm getting a little Paul Dano out of this. I think Paul Dano could play Brock Lesnar. Now, I know that that is Asuka. I have no idea who this is. And I have no idea who the 2021 women's is. And then that's Big E. Yo! <laughs> I knew it. I know Big E and Austin Creed. They're gamers. They got the gift where they got the big cereal box and the huge spoon and they're going, I've seen that one. All right, I got 12 of 26. I, I'll just be honest. I don't know any of these other ones. Are you Trish Stratus again? Did they bring back Trish Stratus? One of, who are the ladies again? Paige? Paige is one of them. They made a movie about Paige. Is there a Bailey? Oh! Dude. 
Bailey! I knew it. In my head, I was like, I've, I've seen people talking about Baileys. I give up. I'm proud of myself, honestly. How about WWE? Oh, Royal Rumble runners up. WWE Grand Slam champions. Okay. That, this is the last one, by the way. This is Triple H. What the hell? That's literally Pete Davidson and a Snapchat filter. This this looks like Dennis from It's Always Sunny pretending to be a wrestler. That's Edge. That's Kane. That's Jeff Bridges. This is actually you and McGregor. I don't. <laughs> You're gonna tell me this guy wasn't in train spotting? That's Randy Orton. Fohawk. This is the same guy who I couldn't believe was champion. That's you and McGregor. That's Kurt Angle. You can't sneak that one by me. That's Jeff Hardy. No. Kurt Angle. No. I've seen this guy. I've seen this guy before. He's very athletic. What the hell? Are you Finn Balor? One of the wrestlers is like a guy, but he's also a demon. You know what I mean? Like he's a guy, but he has a he has an alter ego that's like a a, a demon or like a witch or something. That's Shawn Michaels. That's Roman Reigns. That's Booker T. That's Daniel Bryan. This is the wrestler known as... I know I actually, for a brief moment, he existed in my head. His name is like Albert something. Why, do, why does your name take up space in my brain? Are you... Albert Del Rio? Is he a Del Rio? No, this is Eddie Guerrero. Okay, that makes sense. I know you. I know you. I know you. You have the gift where you go like... I know this guy, okay? I don't know you. That's the big show. That's Seth Rollins. That's Chris Jericho. That's Glenn Howerton from It's Always Sunny. Jeff Bridges. Fohawk. I think you were on Supernatural. You can't believe it's not champion. Ewan McGregor. Literally the lead singer of uh, Faith No More. Finn Balor. Eddie Guerrero. AJ Styles. I give up. That's, that's Rey Mysterio. Kofi Kingston. Jeff Hardy. John Bradshaw Layfield. Jeff Bridges was pretty close. Hey, Phoenix fails. Thanks for the gifted subscription. Thank you. Why did you not say uh, Eddie Guerrero? Because I read it in chat. I was keeping you honest. You don't know The Miz? I don't think I know The Miz. I know Cesaro. This is actually Ewan McGregor, though. This is The Miz? His hair is... Like, this is old, right? This is an older photo. His hair is so bad. It's not good. It's a bad picture. He looks different now. <laughs> the guy also. Okay, hold on.